Hey guys, so in this lesson we are now beginning topic 2, okay, which is all about adding and subtracting decimals. So, the first thing we will begin with is mental math. This is one of the main things that we want you to use, okay. Mental math is so important, it lets you work things out much, much faster, okay. Sometimes you're not needed to write things down. Just depends, especially when it comes to simple additions and subtractions, okay? We need you to use the mental math so you can do things like this. Just like the times tables, right? If we ask you what is 2 times 3, 6. Immediately you get it straight away. We want you to be able to do the same thing with mental math, okay? For the addition and subtraction and for when using decimals as well, okay? So, by the end of this lesson, hopefully we want you to be able to try and do these kind of problems mentally, okay? So, there's a few different ways to do this. There's not just one way or two way. Everyone has their own way, okay? And I'll do my best to show you a few different ways. So let's begin with the first one, okay? We have 12 plus 3.04 plus 8.28, okay? Or if you remember from topic one, we also say this is three and four hundredths, because it's in the hundredths place, and this is also 8 and 28 hundredths, okay? But saying it like that, we don't really use it. As long as you know what, you keep it in mind, because place value is important still for the next few lessons, okay? But it's okay if you just say 3.04, 8.28, the way I would say it as well, okay? And I'm sure your other teachers will do the same thing. So, Mental math, how can we use it here? Okay, well, we're using decimals, right? So we have place values that we can use to separate. Why not take this and say that we're doing 12 plus 3. Let's just leave out the decimal side for now. Okay, that's one technique. Right? Now, what are we left with? We have a 0 0.4 that we're left with, right? And also, we have a 0 0.28. Okay. Let's do this part first. So we have 12 plus 8 is 20, plus 3, 23. Now guys, you're probably thinking, why did I do 12 plus 8 first? It's an addition, so it doesn't matter which way you do it, okay? Let's talk only addition. Forget all the other operations. Only addition, we can change the order, okay? So if you have A plus B plus C, it's exactly the same as B plus A plus C or any order, okay? Doesn't matter, with addition, okay? So, back to the sum. 12 plus eight is 20 plus three. So we have our 23 here, right? Now let's go back to our decimal side. We have a 0 0.04 plus a 0 0.28. It's kind of like 28 plus four, right? Which is, 32. So we have 0 0.32. So all of this is now done mentally. Now we can just put the two together. So we end up with 23.32. Okay? Now obviously writing it down can be a little bit more effort when we can do it mentally. Okay? So the whole idea of this, we want you to think about using your mind breaking apart the numbers, then adding, okay? It's another skill that you need to get used to this year and that we want you to practice a lot more of, okay? So, let's move on to the next one. Okay, we have now 6.97 plus 4.15. Again, we can do this mentally, or now, actually, let me bring in another way, okay? Imagine 
because we have the same amount of decimal places after the decimal point, right? We have a ones and hundreds, a tens and hundreds, and a tenths and hundreds. Okay? So we've got two places after. It's kind of like if you remove the decimal point, 697 plus 415, right? So, if you're comfortable adding them two together, which you should be able to do now in grade 5, then you can just add them straight together, okay? Or, again, you can use this technique of simply separating them together, okay? So, let's separate them. So we have a 6 and a 4, right? We have a 6 and a 4, then we have our 0 0.97 and our 0 0.15, okay? These two together are much easier to add than probably 697 and 415, right? So, 6 plus 4 is 10. Now we can add these together, right? So, it's just like 97 plus 15. So, 97 plus 15. Mental math, guys. Okay? Think. Your 15 is a plus 10, then a plus 5. Or, if you prefer, a plus 20, then minus 5. Okay? So, let's do the first way I said. 97 plus 10, 107, then plus 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. So, now we have 112. Okay? So, we have 112. But the decimal point. So we've got to add that in. Okay, so it becomes 1.12. Now we can add the two together. 10 plus 1 is 11. And then after your decimal point, you still have the 1, 2. Okay? Mental math, guys. We've got to practice this a lot. Now, let's do another question, which is a subtraction this time, not an addition. Okay? Do things work the same? Let's see. So, we have 9.04 minus 6.98. Okay, so again, few ways to do this, right? Let's look at it another way. Let's say this looks like 9 minus 7, right? Because 9.04 is so close to 9. And 6.98 is so close to 7. So, what if it's 9 minus 7? Gives us a 2. Now, how did we make it 9? How? Because we took away 0 0.04, right? So, because we took it away, we need to add it on over here. Okay, so now we need to add 0 0.04 there, okay, because we didn't use it there. Also, what did we do over here? We added a 0 0.2, 98, 0 0.98 is so close to 100, we just needed a 0 0.02 to make it into the 100, right? So we're also going to add that one over here. Now, put it all together. So we have the two, the decimal point. Zero and zero make zero. Four and two make six. So that would be our final answer. Okay? That's one way of doing it. Okay? So first we did our estimation, and then we balanced it back out. Or we can go back and use the same technique as before. Okay? We can say, this is 9 minus 6, and then we have 0 0.04 minus 0.98, but then we have to borrow one. So, I'm going to show you that in another lesson, maybe lesson 3 or 4, about the borrow technique for subtraction. Okay? So, we can leave that method for now. Probably best to use this kind of method, or if another method comes to me, I will bring it up. Now, let's do our last thing. Example. Okay, 
So, just like the first one, right? Break it apart is the easiest thing to do. Let's do it mentally. I want you to do it mentally with me now, right? So, take the four, okay? Take the four, the first part. There's a zero again, good, we don't need it. Then the 16. So four plus 16 makes 20. So now, keep that aside. Or, you're doing your working on paper, right? 20, we have our first part, good. Now what do we have? Okay, we have a 0 0.02, 0 0.19, 0 0.48. This is also like 48 plus 19 plus 2. So let's do it mentally. Okay, let's start with 48. 48, you've got it right. Plus 2, 50. Now 50 plus 19 plus the 10, then the 9. Or plus 20 minus 1. Whichever way you prefer, whatever is easiest for you, okay? So we have 50 plus 10, 60 plus 9, 69, right? Now we finish up our answer. And we did all that mentally, and it can just take a few seconds, okay guys? So practice, practice, practice to add and subtract mentally, okay? And we'll do more of this in the next lesson.